I really liked the idea of surrealism. So I remember growing up, I had a fascination with like paranormal and uh, conspiracy theories. And I think that's where the surrealism comes in because I can take something that's realistic and put my own twist on it. And you won't see that in real life, but you can see it in my art. Like for example, um, I like sculpted the, a stake out of electrical wires and you would never really see that in real life because that's not how things work. Lindsay's work is often inspired by themes of psychology, popular culture, and the uncanny. In universities where I really started getting into it during the last couple of years of university, I started like really like spending like all night like painting and just trying to get better and better. And that's how I kind of got into sculpture was that um, I think it was around like 2020, the pandemic, I started going out because there's less people out and I would go out and drive and walk around the neighborhood and I would find all these recycled materials on the ground. And I didn't really have much money back then because I was on OSAP, but it didn't really help. So I try to find my material uh, as best as I could and finding the recycled material around my neighborhood not only was good for my cost, but it was good for helping the environment too because I was also taking environmental studies during the time at uh, Brock. So I would use the recycled materials and turn them into artwork, like the TV is like from like the side of the road, computers from the recycling scrapyard in St. Catharines. Lindsay credits Brock University with helping her grow as an artist. Because before Brock, I was really like, just like, I guess self-taught because that's just what I did. I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos, how to draw and just again, looking at all the cartoons and staying up all the time drawing. Um, I guess Brock put into the perspective of, especially the environmental studies, that's what really got me. I really like the sustainability aspect, especially because of our pollution problem. I really like the idea of doing my part in helping the environment by using these now recycled materials in my artwork. So they definitely brought in the environmental aspect and definitely seeing everybody's different styles of artwork. Um, I knew before I started all this that when I had that mindset of doing the most realistic portrait possible, I always had the state of mind that that's the best artwork. Whoever can paint the best, like realistic, they're the best. And then after seeing all these different people and there are different art styles, I realize now that nobody's better than the other. They all are good in their own way. Over the past few years, Lindsay has focused on painting, sculpture, and upcycling. Sometimes I see things and I'm like, oh, that's just, I'll take that for after. I'll figure out something to do with it. And then sometimes I see something and then it's like, I know exactly what that's going to be for. There's so many possibilities because a lot of people just say like this is like, like one man's trash, another man's treasure. That's especially for me because I see something someone's throwing out and I'm like, I can take that apart and use so many different materials from that. Lindsay's work has been displayed in many group and solo exhibitions throughout the region. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.